the Suzuki Swift Sport is a very fun car. So whenever Suzuki sends me an email and says, yo, Mr. How much would you like to spin around in a Swift Sport? My answer will always be yes. I'll explain what was happening a bit later. But while I was there, I decided, hey, let me make a quick review of the Suzuki Swift Sport. So we'll cover practicality, cost of ownership, its features, and I'll also show you what Suzuki's new program is about. So without wasting any of your time, let us get started. First things first, I just want to say Suzuki's are strong. This specific Suzuki Swift Sport that you see spinning around is always the one that is spinning around. As you can see, the number plate says JR, so I've nicknamed this Swift Junior. Junior is always at every Suzuki event. They bought Junior just to spin him around every now and then. In terms of power, Junior has a 1.4 liter turbo petrol engine. He produces 103 kilowatts and 230 newton meters of torque. Nice. And if you're wondering, no, that was not me driving. It was actually the instructor. So at all Suzuki events, there's always an instructor who shows you how to do what you need to do, you know, keep control of the car, oversteer, understeer, you know, all those buzzwords, but it's actually pretty fun. Let me stop talking and you can listen to how much fun we're having. Handbrake. Direction handbrake. Okay. Direction handbrake. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can make these angles tiny. So yes, the Swift Sport is a very fun car. It even has sport bucket seats. I showed you in the previous review. It weighs in at 970 kilograms, under a ton, which means its power to weight ratio is actually pretty good. So for its size, that 103 kilowatts is perfect. Fuel consumption, claim is 6.1 liters to the 100, but you might average around 7.4. But the real question is, can you get batteries with a Swift Sport? Maybe one or two, maybe one or two, and sometimes that's more than enough. You know what else is more than enough? The boot space. For a car of its size, it's actually pretty impressive. It is 242 liters, and somewhere underneath those bags is a spare wheel. So because I can't bring PA to these events, I usually just ask, anyone I find there to record for me. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This back seat scene did not work, so I redid it completely. This time I was the cameraman and I asked Shone to help me out and pretend to be the passenger in a swift spot. That over there is, okay, she's still getting in, wait for it. That over there is, wait for it, the leg room. As you can see, she looks very comfortable. She was looking for the center armrest, but there isn't none, so. That, that's pretty much it for the back seat. We are done here. There are no rear air vents, there are no USB ports at the back, so there isn't much else to show you. Thank you, Shonae. Moving on to the front, you get a 7-inch infotainment screen which has a reversing camera. You also get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I prefer the infotainment screen in the Balino, to be honest. You have analog dials with a small LCD screen in the center for your information and a very nice flat bottom steering wheel. So over the last few months, you've seen me attend a couple of advanced driving courses, safety courses, off-roading courses. Well, Suzuki is launching their own safety program. So Suzuki basically invited us over to come and try it out before they make it available to everyone. For those of you who are interested, it will be available from the month of September 2023. But for free, I me mean, now tell you what they're going to teach you there. You'll learn stuff about hijack prevention, how to respond to a hijacking situation. They'll even tell you about the dangers of not paying attention while you're at robots, stop signs in traffic. Especially those of you who are always on your phones. Spotters are watching you. Spotters are basically those guys who peep into your window while you're at a stop sign or robot and alert the other guys if there's something valuable in your car. And ladies, this thing of sitting with your handbag in the front seat, mm -mm, not good at all. Keep your stuff out of sight. And always check that your car is actually locked because watch this. You can lock with the phone. They, they jam the signal with a remote. Just use a simple gate remote. Can they copy it? So don't ever say Mr. How Much doesn't care about you. I have shared this information with you guys. So with old school cars, you can physically check the door handle. And with cars with killer's entry, you can always check with the mirrors if they fold. Or you can have a look at your indicators. They usually flash. 
a number of times to let you know your car is locked but it's not only theory guys you also get to go out on the skid pan which is my favorite part and learn how to keep a vehicle under control a lot of accidents happen because people don't know how to respond the right way so i actually vouch for these safety courses they are very important some people have never even felt what abs feels like when it's applied when you break fully and you hear that go -go 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 sound now you panic thinking oh no something is breaking no that is your ABS. And for those who don't know, ABS allows you to steer while under hard braking. So your foot is on the brake, you can still turn left or right. Your car can do that if it has ABS. And for those of you who've never experienced ABS or heard what it sounds like, this is the sound you will hear. Keep going. I'm sure someone is angry saying i thought this was a suzuki swift sport review it is but i also care about my viewers and i care about your safety so if i have free information i'll give it to you but you can attend the course they'll tell you all these things and so much more i'm just summarizing and at the end of the day you'll get your certificate and of course i have to rev this car so i haven't forgotten let's talk prices Nine months ago, when I reviewed the Suzuki Swift Sport Automatic, it was 399,900 rand. Today, that price has increased by 43,000 rand to 442,900 rand. There is no other way to say it. This car is expensive. Suzuki, what's happening? Huh? You are known for affordable cars. Why is the Swift Sport so expensive now? People love this car. Make it more affordable. Anyway, on finance, it will cost you 8,657 Rand. And a full tank will cost you around 845 Rand. And if you got an insurance premium of 1,800 Rand, it would bring your total cost of ownership to 11,302 Rand. For your service plan, you get a 4-year, 60,000 kilometer service plan and a 5-year, 200,000 kilometer warranty. All in all, Swift Sport is a great car. Oh, you know what else would be great? Liking and subscribing. Road to 50,000 subs by December is still on. The one year special is coming up soon. So please like, please subscribe and please support local YouTube. It's the right thing to do. In conclusion, the Swift Sport is a great car. The only thing affecting it right now is the price tag, but there are ways around that. As you're about to see on your screen, you can always go for a demo or a used one. There are 2023 models going for under 400,000. That one is 360. You can get one for around 390. So depending on where you look and how you can negotiate, you can pick one up for a good price. But from me to you, thank you so much for watching, guys. Until the next one, take care.